The first step with these lithium batteries, first unbox them, take all the caps off here, take these off the front and stack them on top of a base like this. Before you start any work on them, you want to make sure that all the breakers on the back of the batteries, there's a set of breakers on each, each battery, you want to make sure they're off. So the batteries should be off by default, but if they're not, they'll be sticking up. Flick them down like so. When routing cables between batteries, you're going to have to take off these tabs. Just a couple wiggles should make them come off. When installing cables with these connectors, make sure you push hard until you hear a click. So once you've installed the communications cable and screwed it up like this, it can pay to unscrew this weatherproof gland here um, and give this a push in just to make sure it's all done and then you can screw that back on. So now we have the power cables and the communication cable plugged between these two batteries. Now this configuration is the same wiring for every set of batteries and these can stack up to 10. So every single set of connections should be the same and we'll get on to the top one next. So the next step is wiring the batteries up to the inverter. So to start you want to plug in the negative cable to the bottom battery, this one here, and the positive orange into the top. You'll then wire these around into the MCCB the battery breaker. Ensure that it is off. Then you can wire these up into the inverter. Make sure the orange is going to the red and black to black. This is your positive line, this is your negative line. Next thing is your communications cable. So from the inverter, you really have to make sure that it's in the BMS line, not this one. So BMS. And you route that down into the top battery in the link in port. Sorry, PCS port. So to set up lithium batteries on the inverter, first you want to hold down enter to take you to the settings menu. Next, we're going to scroll through the settings to get to setting 5. Now we're going to press enter again to enter those settings. We're going to change this to LI for lithium. Next, press enter to confirm that. It's going to take us straight to 36. Now on setting 36, we want to press enter again. Now we can change that setting change this to 51. Press enter to set the first digit, enter again to set the next digit, and now we're going to press escape to confirm those settings.